Welcome everybody. Um, this is Tarnix and we're about to do the Hilberg's quest. A quest that I've been told I should do for quite some time. I heard it's kind of funny. A little bit more funny. Long, but funny. Yeah. Alright, um, let's get into it. I guess, um, we already picked up the quest, I believe. And, um, we need to actually find the first part of the quest. Let's go here. I really hope this is the right quest. I'll be embarrassed if it's not. Oh, I did start this quest. Holy crap, too late now, right? Oh man, I should start this over. Yeah, I think I can start it over. <laughs> Out. Okay, we got to uh, go here. And I'm like 90% positive this is the starting spot of the quest. And yeah, we'll see. Okay, let's do this. I hear you've been busy as a bee tonics. Seems half the whispers what come my way relate to you. You're coming and going. Being the active type you are, I reckon you'd be interested in investigating some cure rumors. Am I right? But before that, let me ask. Ever heard of a man named Hildebrand? Have you heard of... Yes. Oh, you don't mean to say you knew the bugger. I know he thought himself famous, but... Thinking it don't make it true. Shame that he had to go get himself killed. And that nonsense about stopping the Lemon himself. When the Seven Hills was he thinking? At least it was mercifully quick. Still judging from the depths of the creator, he must fall in from a unfathomable height. Gods only know what was going through his mind as he watched the ground rush up to meet him. Ugh. Amazing how well the body was preserved though. Hells, it's amazing there was a body left to bury at all. I heard reasons for bringing this up. Uh, right. So Nashu killed your brands. That's where our assistant has since become inspector in her own right. At present, she is investigating the girl rumor I mentioned earlier. She's a sweet lad. Lace, last. A bit draft, but sweet nonetheless. So when I heard she's at wit's end, I want to help. Things is, thing is, I prefer to meddle in the affairs of the living. Zombies are most definitely not my forte. So if you're willing, I'll be grateful if you lent her a hand. As for where to find her, she's like to visit in the great inn. Then she inured when she frustrated. Frustrated. Try looking for her there. Sorry, I, I am not a great reader. As you probably can tell. But whatever, right? As we go. Walking, walking to the store. To the grave. Boom. Life is like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get. Mm. There's a person of interest. Only, only if, oh, if only you were still alive, Inspector. You know how to stop these zombies. Ah, oh, you there. Could it be? 
you have come to offer your service to me. Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. Ahem. My name is Nashu, agent of Encourier's Extraordinary Expector. At least that's what I'm trying to be. It's not quite as easy as he made it look. Inspector Hillebrand was a great man. A real Eurasian hero. Alright, you guys going to beat me up on that one. Uh, we traveled the world, me and him, solving cases and thwarting evil. No matter the mystery, you could always count on the inspector to solve it with grace and style. But then, there was the final case. The case of the century, he called it. How to stop the Red Moon from destroying the world. To save us all, he flew into the sky, and all I could do was watch. But then, then he came back down, and he, he, I think we got the echo going on. This is all a joke, a big funny joke, right, Inspector? Any moment now you'll bust out of the ground and shout, Surprise! How do you fold, eh? And, and we'll laugh and laugh. Shenha, Tonic X2 Hype 2, Tonic X2 Hype 2, Tonic X2 Hype 2. The snob, they say, they say no one remembers the Warrior of Light. Their names, their faces, all gone forever. And hello, Shen. Um, yeah, how are you doing? It's a long time no see, uh, and I'm doing good myself. Um, right now in the cutscenes, I'm going to just try to read and this is the only break i'll take and hopefully we can cut this part out <laughs> um they sob they say no one remembers the warriors of light their names their face is all gone forever but uh, i remember you inspector no gentleman hero of hillbrand I can never be the hero you were, but I'll do my best to try. I, Nashu, Inspector Extraordinary, will carry on your legacy. So I told myself, well, Nashu, there must be a leader, a head zombie who tells the rest what to do. Therefore, all we need to do is kill him. Again, that is, unfortunately, I don't know where he is or how to find him. But now that you're here, my faithful assistant, you can try the one good idea I've come up with so far. If you go to where the Damper zombies were last seen in southern Thandalin. You might find them. And then you could, uh, um, you could become their friends. And ask to meet their leader. Yes, that's sure to work. Alright, now I can, uh, actually talk to you guys for a minute. Wait, did I pass it? Is this it? Wait, wait. I think this is it. 
There we go. We do. No, don't fight me, you piece of poo poo. Hmm. Yes, I call the monster poo poo, so get over it. <laughs> I'm an amateur child. I don't care what people say. Come on, one more. One more. Did I do it? Oh, I did do it. Nice. So where is she? Back at a... Uh... Yep. Why am I walking when I can fly? I'm sure Superman asks that question all the time. Why walk when I can fly? Why am I Clark Kent? You should just be Superman and fly around all day. But that's just me. <laughs> that's just my thinking. Did you find the zombies? You did? That's wonderful. I've been busy to the head. Zombie will rule the day they met me. You'll see. So tell me, what did you learn? Oh, so you weren't able to make new friends. That's a shame. But this parchment, this is a map of the Sogli Desert. There's a spot mark here in the south. And look, there's something written here. A gentleman is rather than does. That sort of reminds me of, um, well, no matter. Let's see where this map takes us. Assistant onward to the Sagalier. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, great Master One. Ooh, the cute one. I always feel like seeing I like big butts when I fly this guy. I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of what should I give uh, this guy's voice as. Wait, wait. Was I going the wrong way the whole time? I was. Fallen wizard. I don't think I misread the map. Maybe they're just shy. So... I say we call out of them and let them know we're come in peace. And when the leader shows himself, we strike. Yeah. Which one should we say? Let's go with one, two, three, chat. Which one? One, two, or three. I'm gonna let chat decide this very important decision. Let's see you guys get it right. Alright, I guess I'll decide. I'll pick the answer. If you guys are too scared. <laughs> Oh, okay, I pick one because of... Okay. <laughs> hmm, that doesn't seem to work. Maybe you should try shouting something else. Alright. I don't... Yeah. I'm gonna go try with two now. Oh, don't be sad. Ah! Ah! some... Oh, wait. Uh, 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 who summons the gentle dead man? They live, they live, and we hunger. Hmm. 
my brothers, lend me your years. A gentleman does not dine upon his guest. Spare the fine gentleman and fair lady, you mystication. Withdraw, I say, and harass them no more. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird. No, it's an airship. No, that's the inspector. We hear and obey. Is it you? It really is you. I knew nothing could kill the great inspector. Hildenbrand. Ah, uh, Hildenbrand. Who is the Hildenbrand of whom you speak? My name is Zomberbrand. Devourer of brains. Undead overlord extraordinaire. What are you saying? You're not an undead overlord. You're a gentleman inspector. Uh, uh, inspector, overlord, inspector, overlord. Oh, inspector, you're just confused as all. Don't worry, I'll knock some sense back into that noggin of yours. Just stay your hand, my lady. You know not what you do. Even if I were an instant gentleman, you prefer me to be the conservation force of that blast is more likely to liquefy mine. If crashes into the ground made you forget, then an explosion of equal force ought to make you remember. I'll save you, Inspector, or I'll kill you trying. See? Even you acknowledge the possibility that this plan may result in mine. Death. <laughs> Normally, I would applaud your ingenuity, Nashu. I would have preferred that you found more elegant solution. Elegant uh, solution. Ah, he remembers me! Inspector Hildebrand remembers me. Okay. Yes, yes, I remember you. My faithful assistant. What I do not re quite remember is how I came to be here. Hmm. Mysterious. Such a wonderful dream. I slew a dragon and... Hmm. 
Hmm, what is this place? And for the matter, who am I? Interesting. I, Hildebrand, agent of Icarian's victor, extraordinaire, have awoken at last. I stop. Uh, I, I always knew you'd come back to me, to us. Be it Red Moon or Black Dragon, no fiend is a match for my legendary might. And who might the fine gentleman be? Hmm. Could he possibly be one of my admirers? Oh, uh, but what is this faint tingling sensation in my arm? This ringing in my ear? This dizziness? Could it be a case? Quest completed. Alright, let's do one more. Ah, barely it could be not else. Somewhere nearby, desperately doing our afoot. And only I can throt them. Throt. Compares quantities of sand. Unbearable heat. Ah, the Tagalayan desert. I bet my life on it. Which means Udor is but a short trek away. Yes, it's all fits. Only that den of inquiry could so violently trigger my can of investigate your sin. Fear not, law abiding citizen. Inspector Hildebrand. Hildebrand shall soon deliver you from evil. Oh, great. So, I guess we're going to follow him. Beg your pardon. You wish to question me as the whereabouts of that deviant running about town dressed in drags? Do I look like a reporter? Or the Mithra Eye? I do not concert with perverts. What? You're looking for a half-naked Highlander? What's like to catch the criminals? I think I remember a thing like that. If you do manage to find this inspector friend of yours, Tell him to do something, but that damn duelist, me made pal cousin kid best friend lost his plate the other day to that bastard. All right. Uh, sorry, lad, but that's information you want. You'd be served best by going to Wimon. The only rumor I've heard her was about the weapon thief. Calls himself a duelist. Or so I hear. But when you don't allow your opponents to refuse, well. <laughs> that was a fast quest. Ah, take you dealt with the zombie problem. Hey, so do tell. Just why were they dressing up like dandies? Well, um, hey, what am I on? I'll, I'll mighty bugger me with... Lennon's beer. I've dev risen and they're walking the streets of Aldon. No need for Melodor Mad. My good man. As you can see, report of my death were greatly exaggerated. It's true. He's not a zombie. I checked. 
Ah, oh, you do seem to be here. Hell healthy. Which uh, begs the question. How in the seven hells did you survive that fall? Why question divine providence? What matter is that Azoria champions has returned? And that he, and by that I mean I, shall bring this thieving duelist to justice. Cared about that, did you? Might be harder than you think. Even I got no inking of the below current whereabouts. Inconceivable. I refuse to believe that the ever incredible, ever ambition, ever reliable woman is well a single shred of information, even one of dubious irrelevance. Hmm, well, I make no promises, mind you, but there was some talk of a fair maiden, what said her most uh, keen, soft, and young woman as well. The audacity. I should fly to her out. Why, if it isn't that gentleman from Sagli. A serpentous encounter indeed. Unless you too seek the religion duelist capital. It will be investigating to enrage in a friendly battle of Brits. Already the spirits of competition fills me. Come naturally, we must away. Damn it, Hildy. I ain't told you the last name yet. <laughs> Alright. At her own heart. Remember? Okay, yeah. Well, Tony, you might as well go after him. He'll be disappointed if you don't. The lady in question is named Yellow Moon. She's a woman with taste for the finer thing in life. Safe to say you'll find getting fitted from something in the Weaver's Guild most every day. Good luck with the inspect inspection, Inspector. Well, thank you. All right, let's go to the the Wilder's Guild or whatever you call it. I don't know. Shut up. So why am I here? Why did I come here? What's wrong with me? No, we want to go here. The Weaver Reavers. I need to learn to talk. I need to go to English school. Hey, Yellow Moon, I know her. Mm. The leather pure heart with unlike in wand. You ever seen elegant refined? The perfect accessory. Or any cultural woman. You bring it back to me, you will, won't you? A, a priceless possession. Color scene ripped from the hands of its owner. The lady weeps and the wind bears her sorrow to his years. What gentleman could hear the clarion call and not beg the honor of chaperoning her calls? What, what in the world? I swear to you, here and now, Hildenbrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall secure all creations from the deepest part of the seven hells to the very principle of the heavens, for your pure heart. What he said. And you, my fellow servant of justice, I see your instincts are not to be underestimated. I've been guiding you to this fair maiden side. Now then, Miss Moon, what can you tell us of the thief? Ah, uh, thieves, sir, to be precise. My pure heart was only the most... Recent item to be taken from me. Uh, I certainly... I had it when I left home the other day. After I browsed the latest fashion at Sun Silk. 
and took in a match at the Coliseum, I realized it was gone. So the time and location of the thief are unknown. This is details without which we cannot solve the case. There is but one logical course of action, Miss Moon, to coax the hidden clues from your memory. You must reenact that fateful day. Excuse to sulking deep streets. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess we just follow. Oh, here we are. Oh, Miss Moon. Would you be so kind to describe your visit in the dental uh, visit in detail on the day in question? Nothing unusual happened, but if you insist, I was pondering whether or not to purchase a new dress when a man approached me and confessed his undying love. What sort of man says that to a complete stranger? I ask you. Naturally, I was taken aback. I dropped my purse in shock, not intentionally, on his foot, and he cried out in pain and fled. <laughs> but maybe so bold, Miss Moon. That strike means it has a much unusual happening. In any case, it appears to be completely unrelated to the theft. Let us next proceed to the Coliseum and see what you remember. Okay, to the Coliseum. I wonder if people think I'm drunk. Better not do that. I might be getting people dizzy. <laughs> Gotta be professional here. We are all professionals. We need to act like professionals. Not jumping around like little jackrabbits. Once again, Miss Moon, if you'll be so kind to tell us what you remember. Well, like before, nothing usual happened. I felt like gambling that day and was debating which match to observe. But a gladiator approached me from behind and confessed his undying love. Naturally, I was taken aback. I whirled about and struck the man in the face with my purse. In shock, not intentionally. Unfortunately, since I was carrying a tremendous sum of money, my purse weighed about six score pounds, and the blow was enough to render him unconscious. One hundred and twenty pounds. Miss Moon, you are a remarkably strong woman. Which is precisely why you were targeted. Oh, it's so obvious in hindsight. The thief for your gauge. No, it's more than that. He hated you with a passion. Uh, that sure are a lot of giant crates in Odor. Ah, the Weaver Guild. That solves it. Been here too. Hmm. Well, a lot of crates. So I think there's something to do with the crates. These crates are elsewhere, Tonics. I wonder what's inside. But I don't see how we can open. Ah, of course, I still have plenty of explosives. Here, why don't you try it? It'll be fun. Oh, God, it would be fun. All right, let's blow them up, boys and girls. Let's blow it up. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh. Wait, was she the cop for the whole time? Ooh, that'd be interesting. It was her the whole time. At the heart of every crime, there's a single unassailable truth. Which only by the navigate a web of falsehood and contradictions. Art Karkin to me now, for as a shepherd leads his flock, I shall guide you to my influtable conclusion. 
A gladiator professed his feelings only to be rejected and physically assaulted in response. Wondering his pride as a warrior and man, resting her powers, recognized his weakness. He carried out a mere visible vengeance. He robbed Yellow Moon of her weapon, the Pure Heart. Inspector, we found the Pure Heart. The strange men sneaking around town and wooded crates had it. It's, it's, it's not what you think. We're not thieves. We're devotees. Yellow Moon is our sun and star. We only wish to keep her safe from harm. And so she misplaced an item from time to time. We collected for safekeeping. Nothing at all. You deviants for behind all the thefts. Now all this time, you've been stalking me. What? What on earth? Oh, such unbearing fury, such righteousness, intelligence. We should be glad to accept the goddess punishment. Ah, uh, goddess, devotees. Ah, uh, but but of course, that I had. You inspect those crates was a stroke of genius indeed. As I was in the allocating but a moment ago, those fiends are obviously the ones responsible for the recent rash of weapon thieves as those thieves were carried out by a single individual, you embers. And uh lay you forgot that the copper is a duos. He only claims his victims' weapons after defeating them in a single combat. Your powers of observation are a, as great as you claim. You should have deducted that those buffoons and boxes were incapable of such. I shall know. I'm a reporter for Mithra. My name is Ellie, and I've been investigating these incidents for weeks. Inspector Hillebrand, gentleman investigator, an agent of inquiry, I presume. You're looking well for a dead man. Would you like to meet one for one of the duelist victims? I'll introduce you with pleasure. You would be willing to share such a crisis information with me? Your generosity is condemnable, Miss Ellie. May this mark the beginning of a long and beautiful friendship. Ah, yes, yes. Very good. The name of the man is... Huh. Where in the bloody hells do you think you're going? I haven't told you anything yet. <laughs> oh, interesting quest. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I was fun making, um, trading this and all. And I hopefully get a next video up to you pretty soon. Um, I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell and thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.